So we all know that Apex Legends is a really team coordinated game. And it's a lot easier to win the games or do really well if you have a team that's working together and coordinating, talking on mics. But it's not necessary. I've seen a lot of your guys' messages and comments about, hey, like, I'm a solo player, I don't, I don't really have a team to play with, or maybe your friends don't enjoy the game, whatever the case may be. You can still play solo and have a ton of fun and do really, really well. Now, this is a great game to showcase for that. So I'm going to talk over the entire thing, and I'm going to give a play-by-play -play on what's going through my mind and making the moves that I'm doing. And I'm going to talk about the ping system because that is a huge portion into playing this game with no mic. Even if you are using a mic, the ping system is fantastic. I feel like every game from here on out is probably going to have this same ping system. Like, it's just so good to, to work with your team if you're not using a mic. I know there's a lot of casual players out there, right? You don't have a $300 headset, you don't play on a monitor. You know, you're laid back on the couch, feet kicked up, and you're you're playing on a TV, right? So anyways, I'm gonna give a play-by-play -play on this entire game, and I'm gonna give you guys my mindset about what's going on. So right now, I can hear, a t I can hear an enemy underneath me. That's why I threw my decoy out there. And there he is. So we handle this guy, no biggie. And then I see my teammate went down. Now, one of the biggest things about solo play is that I know you guys will notice it if you're if you're queuing into randoms. If one of your teammates goes down, they usually leave the game. So that's what happens here. It ends up being a two-man squad. So our third player leaves the game, and I'm just chilling here with uh, with my man's Mr. Husky, 5'10". Uh, we handle our business. So we loot up these guys, and then we get ready to move on. Now, I look at my loadout, I got my longbow, I got my R99, I'm good for long range, I'm good for close range, and I remember there was a peacekeeper on the top floor. So I come up to the top floor, I drop him some ammo, and I mark the peacekeeper. To do that, all you do is simply look at whatever you want. It could be ammo, a weapon, it could be an attachment, whatever it is, and just click R1 on it if you're playing on the PlayStation 4. Ping it. So I knew I didn't need a close range weapon, I had the R99, so I gave it to my man's husky. And now I'm just patching up and we'll have a little bit of fun. You know, we bonding with the tea bags. Throw my uh, my decoy at him. We have a little little tea bag moment there. That's my man's. So now we start moving on. Going on to the to the elevator balloony thingy. We're redeploying. So I mark where I'm gonna go because I want him to follow me. I don't want him to be looking around like, alright, where is he going, right? So we go this way. If you don't know, you can actually do like this little this little momentum thing. So if you hop up a balloon, when your legs go down, look straight up in the air, and you'll get like a jetpack boost. You could probably get a couple times, depending on if you're going uphill or downhill. You could do it three, four times. There, I only did it twice because we were going uphill. Now I remember I gave him that I gave him that shotgun, and I see a shotgun bolt here. Shotgun bolt here. So I ping it for my man. It's like, hey, you picked up a shotgun. There's a shotgun bolt. Now after we loot up. Get ready to move. I'm a little kill hungry, and I notice that there's people underneath me. So I throw out my decoy, try to get sight. There we are. Sniped them a couple times. So I assume it's a three-man squad. I'm not sure at this point. But I here's the thing now. I'm looking at my mini-map, and I'm seeing where my teammate is, right? Now, you want, a, you want a picture of V in your head, okay? Picture of V. The two points are me and my teammate. The point of the V is the enemy. You always want to stay separate to your teammates. So I see he's way on the right. This is a smart player. I can tell that he's probably played some BRs in, in his days, okay? Now, this is where shit gets kind of kind of iffy. He pushes in because of the airstrike. So I throw my decoy on the left to try to, you know, maybe alleviate some of the pressure off of him. Doesn't matter. He handles his business. It was a really good play. Good, good play on his part. So he pushed up. He finished off those three kills. And... We moved on. Now, we loot up, we move to the next area, and he's marking people. So we know that there's a guy over here somewhere, and I can hear him getting shot. He is down to one health. So I just start throwing a bunch of nades because I don't know where he is exactly. So I'm just throwing nades so he can get some, uh, get some cover, get some heals off if he needs. So I'm here to watch for him. So the same thing, you notice how we have two separate angles? Now I got bamboozled. I, I got bamboozled there. But you notice how we have two separate angles and we're putting pressure on this guy? When I see him go in with one health, I know that I have to put pressure on him. So I get in there too. I took a weird angle here by climbing up. Mr. Husky handled his business. Now it looks like Mr. Husky's getting all the kills here. Trust me, it ain't the case. I pop off in a little bit. Don't worry. 
Now, I noticed that his shields were super weak, and rather than uh, healing him up, I didn't know if he had purple or blue at this point. So I marked the marked the armor and the massive form because I knew he was using Peacekeeper. It's like, yo, bro, there's a massive and some armor in here. But then he healed it up, so I took it. <laughs> and then we had a little tea bag moment once again. So if you're in the, the loot menu, once again, the same thing as anything in this game, you simply press R1 if you're playing on the PlayStation 4, and you can mark. Now, I throw my Mirage out that way or my decoy out that way just to make sure that nobody's behind us because we hear shooting to the east. So I get up somewhere and I try to get some line of sight here. I'm like, oh, there's a guy there. Perfect. So I kind of, I, I don't have line of sight on uh, on enemies right now. I marked that one enemy, but I don't know where the rest are. So I just put a yellow marker like, all right, we're going over this way. And we get set up and my man gets into a little bit of trouble here. So I get some shots on that guy. Then we down that guy. Missed a bunch of shots, actually. That was kind of in. So, I, he's actually getting kills. He's got a knock right now, but then he goes down. Now, listen. This is a big one. If you're playing by yourself and your teammate goes down, a lot of the times, they'll just leave. Like what happened with the very first guy. Don't leave the game, because you can always get respawned. So, what I did was, is I clicked on his body and I clicked R1. If you look on the top right, it says, coming to get you. It's a notifier to my teammate saying, hey, don't worry. I'm gonna do my best here and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to come get you. So I knocked these two guys and I know there's a third one left because these two are knocked, right? So throw a bunch of grenades on him and I expect his third teammate to go for the rest. So I throw my decoy out to the left here just to make sure, right? So I start picking up this res and as I'm getting the res, I can hear him walking behind me. So I stopped the res and handled the business. So I finished picking up my teammate after uh, Finishing off that last guy, and we start healing. We grab a couple things from the bodies. I needed some small ammo, as, as you can see. So we heal up a bit, and then we start going. We get caught in the storm, and there's a fight right outside of the storm. Okay, so as we're going in, we hear gunshots, and he's way ahead of me. Now, what I do is, is I throw my decoy on the left hand side, and I stand to the right. Now, what I do this for is because if somebody ends up pushing, they're gonna shoot the decoy first, probably. And I'm going to be behind the rock, so I'll be able to get advantage on them. So my teammate's in there. I can hear people shooting. I don't know if it's him. Then I see this guy. While I'm healing, I click R1 on him. You can do it all while you're healing. My teammate goes down. Now pay attention to the top right. While he's down, he's marking people for me. This is amazing. This is such a good play on his part. See how he's marking people? Spotted an enemy. So now I know what I'm doing. So I knocked this last guy. And he spots the last one. Bop. And then, uh, I got kind of lucky here. I missed a lot of shots there, but... Worked out okay, because we got the last guy. So I pick him up. Now, this is where things get really, really hairy, okay? So I pick him up. This is his turn to shine, right? I just had my turn. It's his turn. So I go to this corner to stay separate from him, and I start healing. And this happens. Fantastic. So what I do now that I'm down, I'm marking the enemy, right? My teammate doesn't have shield, he's weak, but I'm doing my best to mark the enemies. He gets that first kill, good man, smart man. So he's looking for his teammate. He knows that it was just a knock, so he knows there's another one somewhere. This is a good player, Husky's a good player. So after he gets this res, I back out completely just to make sure I can get a heal off. And he's suggesting a location. You can see it on the top right, you can see the yellow marker. That's where an enemy is. So I'm trying to get my heals off, but it doesn't matter because Husky finishes the deal. Good player, man. Honestly, really good player. But I, I, if he went down, okay, hypothetically, if he went down there, I would have been able to cancel my heal and I would have been able to get to him. And I would have known where they were too. So here we are. We're going on to the last spot. Three squads left, including ourselves. And this is what I started doing with Mirage. Every time I get to like an open choke like this, I always throw my decoy out first, just in case we're getting camped. Now I hear the gunshots, I know the last two squads are fighting each other, so I go. And it's a really long range battle, and I don't have a full scope on this, so it's a little tricky to hit shots. I just got the ACOG, but it's not bad. So anyways, I'm picking apart these guys a little bit, and my teammate starts moving forward. As he, as he gets here, now this is it really important again. Remember the V thing that I told you, the letter V? How the two points of the V are me and my teammate, and then the point of the V is the enemy? It's a little bit different now because the enemy is super spread out. 
So I'm paying attention to where my teammate is, and I'm also paying attention to terrain. So if he gets in trouble, I know that he can back up because he's a little bit higher. He's elevated to the to the enemy right now, and if he needs to back out, he's safe to do that. So I'm paying attention to so much right now. So not only am I spotting people, which you can see on the top right, I'm spotting people, but he's also spotting people too. So you'll see here shortly that he starts spotting enemies as we're fighting these guys, which is fantastic. This helps me a ton. I needed, I needed this, honestly. So I see a guy going on the left here, get a shot on him, missed the next two, which kind of sucked. So then I kind of had a feeling like maybe they're wrapping around to the left. So I wanted to make sure that they weren't coming up behind us. And I see that they started rotating into the circle, like into that little village. So I'm like, all right, we're good. They're probably going to stay there. So now our teammates marking more enemies. And I'm assuming the enemies that he's marking are the ones that he is trying to shoot at. So I start taking shots. And I'm hitting these guys, whatever. So now I'm like, okay, he just took a couple, couple, couple shots. He's, he's hurt. This guy doesn't have any armor. So I commit to it. We got the knock. And now he's shooting at him too. So we know his teammate probably going to go for the res. I don't know where his teammate is. So I'm paying attention to the minimap and I'm looking at my teammate's arrow. You can see the point of the arrow. And I'm like, okay, well, he's in this corner somewhere. And there he was. I got two shots on him. And I see my teammate pushing. So I'm not even worried about it. I knew he was going to get that kill. And he did. Really good player, honestly. Hats off to you, Mr. Husky. You handled your business. It's not often that uh, I feel really confident in a random teammate like that. So... That was awesome. We patch up, and we know that the last team, or well, I know the last team, is in this village. Husky doesn't. I saw them go to this village. So, I get all my stuff reloaded, full health, and I start moving out, and I actually see them. So, I, I prematurely threw that. I didn't want to throw that right there. I did, I guess, but I didn't realize the enemy was actually going to be running away. So, this is really good. Now, again, one more time. Gotta... Say this again. This is important. Do you see how me and my teammate have two separate angles? This is very important, honestly. So we have two separate angles, but we're looking at the same thing. That's the V. I, I sound like a broken record, but it's very important. That's one of the big things about BRs that lots of players don't know. And I know that Apex caters to an audience that probably hasn't played a BR before. So a lot of you guys might not be familiar with it. So I sit on this high ground for quite some time. I know my teammate's on the left. He rotates all the way around. I just cut there, right? Because we were we were there for a long time. So he cuts all the way to the right. He's down low, and I'm in the middle. I see the first guy. I mark him. I see the second guy. I get a shot on him. Now, I'm throwing a bunch of grenades here because I want to stall him from coming out. Now, thermites are great because I can actually see when I'm getting hit markers, which you can see right there. So I turn to the right to try to help out my teammate, and then I saw the hit markers, so I double back. Now, I messed up here. I went to throw my grenade on the stairs to block him from coming up, but I fell off, and then I took a really big shot. Now watch what I do here. When I use my ultimate, I go invisible. So I open the door to make it look like I went in the door. And I went invisible and ran around the back. And I climbed on this little ledge to heal. You can do this on so many buildings. You sit on this. It's so like if the enemy were to follow me around the back, chances are he's not going to see me up here. He's not even going to bother looking. So I get my heal off and my teammate gets into a fight with this guy. I know he's probably weak, so I challenge him. And I win that gunfight. My teammate went down, so I know he's behind him, and that was that was the game. So that ending was super well played on my part and on his part. That was a really, really good game. And then he puts his mic on to say GG's, <laughs> which is really awesome. GG, bro. GG. There he is. Uh, and I didn't have my commentary saved, so you can't hear me say it, but I said GG to him too. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a different type of video. I've never done something like this before, but I do hope you guys enjoyed. Uh... And yeah, and I will see you guys on the next video.